What's good fam, Joe and Sam back on the cam and today we are reacting to Uncle Roger Hates British TV Foe. Thank you for the request by the way and this tops the bill so far. Um, I'm not sure whether we've seen any clips from this one in our previous video. I don't think we have. What is a foe? <laughs> Stop Joe. laughing, I'm sorry man. What's a foe Joe? It's, it's pronounced fur. Fojo for the bojo? Mojo. I am Mojo Jojo. Okay, me. It's pronounced fur. Try to say that fur. But it's spelled fur. As in P ho. No, not P ho. <laughs> fur. They call it fur. It's a soup. A soup made with bone broth. Okay. Okay. Anyway, to the video. This morning is British daytime talk show, and recently they have chef on there making fur high uh, Asian cooking on British TV. You know this is gonna be disaster. Just, just look at the title. Yeah. Ten minutes fur, fur take hour to make. Ten minutes and fur are words that don't belong together. Just like the words Jamie Oliver and chef. <laughs> Emotional, <laughs> damn it. It's mm -hmm. got just the thing. You're making a superfood soup today. A super, a superfood super, soup. Super. Opening shot already not looking good. Not she's a frying pan. Pot for prof. And she got two frying pan. Hi. What? <laughs> <laughs> I never see anyone make pho with frying pan. It's a Vietnamese pho. It only takes ten. Pronouncing it wrong. So easy. Not pho. It's pho. I'm doing pho. it with steak. I did make that mistake at the beginning. Vietnam, mm. But you could do it with chicken, you could do it with prawns. That was because of you, you were saying it. Whatever you like. Wait, 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 no. Cannot be. That's because it looks like pho. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you. What was it? Pee ho? <laughs> yeah, pee ho. calling it pee ho. Pee ho, pho. 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 Oh, if it was pho, it would have a U. No, that's just the. It's the spelling. <laughs> I don't know why they spelt it like this. <laughs> Where is Balaka yet? My name's Blake. Are you out of your goddamn mind? <laughs> Peep. <laughs> I, I can't <laughs> Bro. Whatever you like, there are rules to this shit. Um, I so any red meat uh, nowadays, and that's really so nice. Oh, do you love it? Treat. <laughs> oh, oh, it? treat. Do you know what? I'm the same as you, Phil. Actually, I don't eat an awful lot of red meat anymore either. Do you, Holly? This is white people's favorite topic. Dietary <laughs> restriction. You ever hang out with your white friend? When you go get dinner, that all they talk about. I cannot eat this, I cannot eat that. Ah, yeah, that is white people culture. Because <laughs> lunch and dinner. No idea. <laughs> we don't have a problem, have a problem with you. Actually, Wait. I don't either, and I can't I devour anything. <laughs> what I will say is anybody's making a Is she oiling the beef? Steak every once in a while. I just crave it sometimes. She putting salt, pepper, and oil on the steak? No, for fur, you either cook the meat with the broth or you braise it in the pot. Is she Wait a minute. Put this on fire? Wait, what? Pause that. Is she cooking a whole steak? Is that what's about to happen right now? Yeah. No. It's not been diced up or anything. It's no, 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 no. It looks no. like she's cooking it separately. No, no, no. The meat, okay. The meat for a fur, they freeze it, they thinly slice it, and at the end when the broth is done and it's got everything infused, and then they drop the meat in the broth and it cooks in the broth within a couple of, like, within 60 seconds, it's cooked. Yeah. So her... Just like, all right, and let me slather this steak and just fry that off. Nowhere close. And, and then, um, what are you all laughing at? Nothing. Okay. Even they're laughing. And then, um, what are you all laughing at? Nothing. Okay. At least a half an hour before you're going. Is she going to do what I think she's going to do? It comes out of the fridge. It's all tense like this. And then when it's out. Tense? Your meat tense? Uncle Roger asshole tense? I think <laughs> And get your pan <laughs> no. as hot as you can. Not pan? You use a griddle pan at home sometimes, but most people just have a frying pan, so that's great. No, no, so don't, don't, sure no. It. You want that sizzle mm. straight away. You want that sizzle. Mate, we're having steak for dinner. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boy. <laughs> There's supposed to be no sizzle. See, I kind of now agree with Uncle Roger. White people should not be allowed to cook Asian food. <laughs> That's not the problem. There's a lot of people out there that know how to cook. This madness. This is Sparta! 
I just don't know where it comes from. I really don't. And they keep sticking them on like daytime TV as well. The BBC Food one. We had Auntie Hershia. And now this British foe. Fur. Fuck. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. That this is foe. No. No, 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 no. This is white version of fur <laughs> called foe. Yeah, do you know what? Okay, I agree with that. She can call this one foe because it's nothing like fur. Exactly. You hear sizzling? I hear my ancestor crying. crying. Uncle Roger's so upset, I put my leg down from chair. You don't sizzle steak like this. This is fur, not Outback Steakhouse. Hiya. Mm. You want that sizzle mm. straight away? Uh, making steak like this, are you gonna pair it with french fry or something? Like, <laughs> I think she's making Asian fusion now. She's fusing yeah. Vietnamese with depression. <sighs> So one minute on each side, and then but don't turn it. I'm always tempted to turn it, and then season it then again when it goes. Se -se season again? The broth. How many times you want to season your steak? Like four times now? Four seasons is name of hotel, not recipe for fur. And then <laughs> the broth. So yes. this is like the heart of the yes. pot. I've got to make that. Okay, broth, heart of fur. First thing she said, that correct. Beef broth here, but you could use chicken, you could vegetarian. If but you then you don't show us how you make your broth. You just come <laughs> here with the finished broth, but it's the most important thing. Show us. The most important part is missing of the cooking. She's shown you how to make a steak <laughs> and then to make the broth, which is hours of work. Yeah. Which is hours of cooking to me. She's missing all that out. Once again, it is just chefs. <laughs> With time frames. We show the most amazing stir fry in 10 minutes. I promise you it's going to be in 10 minutes. Pretty well, okay, we're going to make a really delicious, nutritious, super quick chicken meal. Why limit yourself to time? <laughs> this is why you shouldn't do daytime TV, man. You get like 10 minutes to cook something and then they go and move on to the next story. <laughs> More like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they could show like a little snippet clip of how the broth's made at least. No, they could go back to showing all the other important stuff they show like, I don't know, some guy in the East Midlands that cracked an egg and it's got three yolks in it. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna look that up later. <laughs> yeah. Since I'm putting it up on here. <laughs> oh, I know why she can't make the broth. Because she got no pot. See, the broth she just steal from Vietnamese restaurant down the street. You spend more time sizzling <laughs> your steak than showing us how to make broth. Hi, yeah. Why like that? And then put in, I put in a teaspoon of sugar. Sugar, correct. To be honest, at home, most of the time, I actually use honey because we have- Honey? We have our own honey at home. No, don't use honey, you psycho. <laughs> 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 so sometimes I put in mostly honey in there. And then I've got gorgeous fresh ginger to give it that Gin lovely zest. No, not like that. Uh, ginger, correct. But first of all, you need to char it first. And you put ginger in fur broth as whole piece of ginger. You don't mince your ginger and put in there. Now people eating your fur, they're gonna eat mouthful of minced ginger. Hiya, who want that? You need to roast your ginger and roast your onion. If you forget to roast ginger and onion, Uncle Roger gonna roast you. And then star anise, I also put in. Okay, I've learned something new there. That's cool. Flavor, which... What did you learn? I learned that they char in the ginger and stuff before putting it in the broth. I didn't know that. With garlic and ginger. Charming it. Well, he said roast it, so I'm wondering whether you can, like, whether you could roast it in the oven first and then, because that'd give it a slightly sweeter flavour, or whether you just go in for that kind of more charcoal y taste with the, the singe going on. <laughs> I love um, I love it so much, but if you didn't have that or you can't find it, don't worry, the ginger is important. But you're just putting one? Who gonna taste it? You want it seared, you want it crispy. Crispy! Give it a little You want it seared, you want it crispy. You don't want it any of them things. No. Where have you ever had fur with crispy beef in it? No need to have crunch in there. If your no. fur has crunch, then you need to be punched. That's what Uncle Roger said. <laughs> and then one minute I like it. He's got bars. Right. If you want it to be more well done, two to three minutes on each side, which still doesn't take away from your minutes. Okay, back to the spices. I also put in a few cloves in here. Clove, okay. And nampla, which is fish sauce. Fish sauce, good, but wait, that, that much for... You're putting too much fish sauce. 
So little broth, you poured that much in. Please, Horrible sir. smell. It's, it's, it's nice when it's in a dish. Oh, yeah. But fish sauce without being in the dish is a horrible sauce. It, it, it is, actually, you off, yeah. You know, I'm so used like to smelling it. No, what is that black liquid? When it's in there. No. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you just tell people. You know, <laughs> <laughs> cooking show and she is, what is not. Is. Where is the point of this? Well I know. How am I supposed to know what to put in this broth <laughs> yeah. if I don't know the ingredients? I don't know. It looks like she put quarter of a cup of Coke in there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> or squid ink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One or the other. Are you trying to poison us? Do you work for KGB or something? Uncle Roger, <laughs> that liquid there is soy sauce. And that wrong again, hi. Yeah. And then onto the noodles <laughs> over here. So these are um, Vietnamese rice noodles. They're hmm. gorgeous. Okay, noodle look correct. You could use any noodles you want to. No, you cannot use any <laughs> 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 you have to use specific fur noodle. The world yeah. has rules, woman. Not just anything go. Can we remove the word any from Asian cooking? <laughs> noodle yeah. is not pasta. You can't just change the it up for another that shape. Word. They all make of different things for different dishes. I, uh... I've pre soaked these for pre -soaked, correct. on hot water. And then I'm going to pop them into the broth here. Not into broth. <laughs> Don't make noodle in fur broth. Your starch going to dirty your broth. Simmer away, they'll soak up everything. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm not um, like when I'm at home. Because I do, I do genuinely cook every single night at home. I really go to restaurants actually. Nadia. Needs clothes back. I think you need to go out to a restaurant more. Stop cooking. <laughs> if you're bad at cooking, stop cooking. You're not getting better. You make the same mistake at home over and over. Nobody tell you you fucked up. Go to a restaurant, see how they cook, learn from them, then you go home and cook. Please stop cooking. Go eat at a restaurant before you go on TV. Um, <laughs> you know that? <laughs> Take the noodle out now. But Take it out. Easy. When your noodle pre soak already, just cook it for two seconds, three seconds max. Don't cook so long, it's gonna get soggy. Hi, yeah. Uh... you gonna bring that to a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. Stop laughing. <laughs> for the weekend of my mom and oh, She has no Stop idea what she's doing. Does what was I talking about? You were I talking know. about. <laughs> Toast. You got like rice noodles. Harry taking you out. Save the noodle. Save the noodle. Your mum. Where the lifeguard? Lifeguard, help the noodle. <laughs> He's drowning. <laughs> you were talking about rice noodles say. absorbing the flavour of the stock? Savour the stock. <laughs> But I will just look Oh, over take it. the noodle out. Uncle Roger know why it caught the new toasting first soup now. Because the food's <laughs> so toxic for your body. Your body gonna fight it. Now, I don't always have these noodles. Sometimes I'll have like egg noodles or I'll have vermicelli noodles or whatever noodles I have. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just <laughs> pop them in. And they all kind of take the same amount of time to cook. It's usually a... <laughs> Did she just say every noodle? <laughs> <laughs> what universe this woman live on? So you think all this noodle, they all take same time to cook? It, this is the food version of thumb and thumper. <laughs> Don't Uncle Roger, I haven't felt this upset since my ex-wife Matthew oh, had bro. left. It's okay! I'm a limo driver! Do you minutes. cook from a recipe at home or it's just all in your head? Never. It looks stunning. in your head. I'm always doing a <laughs> clear out. I like... Maybe you should start following recipe. Why are you so proud of yourself for fucking up? I find it really exciting mm. taking everything out from the fridge and, and everything going, from the store be, cupboard going creative. like, I've got some tin tomatoes, I've got this. So it's like this, ready, and, steady cook. And then I let it rest um, just for a couple of minutes. But because. The stick resting more than all our Vietnamese ancestors. <laughs> what the hell? The oh my god. So Don't get me Do wrong. Like I'd eat the steak like that. Yeah. Don't like it like that? Like that. Totally Don't put it in anything. The Wait, no one so yeah, wanted. Is that blue? So for example, I no. Use beef broth here. It's so yummy. I use beef broth here. What she just do? What did she just do? Did you see that? It's so yummy. I use beef broth. <laughs> Why is she, she smelling, smelling the noodles? The noodles? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Jamie with the lemon grass all over again. <laughs> you smell it, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I just noticed that when she cut further into it, when it hit the middle, that looked like it was the sear had only touched the top and it hadn't gone all the way through. If you have a look there. Yeah. That's too rare. 
That's not cooked enough. I don't think it's blue though. No, it's not blue. I if think it it's blue, just rare. If it was blue, it'd be bloodier. It's rare. Yeah. Because I've had blue steak before. Cannibal. Felt primal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. And just change the broth to what you're actually going to do. So, for example, no. I use beef broth here. It's so yummy. I use beef broth here. <laughs> what did you just do? What did you just do? Did you see that? It's so yummy. I use beef broth. <laughs> what is she doing? Smelling the noodle to check if the noodle done. <laughs> this noodle, not fruit. Smelling the noodle. <laughs> smelling the noodles to see if they're done. <laughs> I've never known anyone to do that. No. I just kind of pick it up, look at it, and go, "Yeah, that's about right." What does she think that's gonna do? She did this on TV for no. Re <coughs> Let me sniff my noodles. You oh, shit, hi. Uh... So I'm putting in my noodles, my thingy, and then I've sliced up. My, my thingy. Thing. I no. Them. Sorry for my finger. Put steak so first, then pop broth. Unbelievable. <laughs> you don't send the meat swimming. <laughs> no. And then I'm no, no, it all no. Up. That's so not how it's supposed to be. Sometimes you put the chili into the broth. The but meat for would this be one, cooked chili. more okay, than that. I guess. Chili in it. You want it to be lovely and fresh. There's mint in there, isn't I've it? Got mint. The I've mint's got amazing. With it. And I've also got coriander. Okay. Fred, if you don't have all three, you could mm. just use one of them. Whatever you've like, got. Like whatever you have, even flat leaf parsley and. What? What flat leaf parsley. Flat leaf parsley. Yeah. Flat leaf parsley. Parsley. Oh my it's a pasta, God. Bro. Did you just say parsley for fur? All Asian people hate you now. She British and she devastate entire group of people. I think <laughs> she's, she's Irish. 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 <laughs> <laughs> she's putting whatever she feel like. How about you put mayonnaise and barbecue sauce in your fur also? Anything go correct? <laughs> I, uh... I mean, this is Monday. Mm. You want this on a it's Monday? It's lovely. I don't want this on any day. It feels Delicious. good on many, many exactly. levels. Exactly. This will yeah. cure any anxiety. Pop the music on. Yeah, it cure any anxiety. No. Correct. Because it makes. How does it cure anxiety? It's giving me anxiety, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm anxious about biting into that meat, bro. <laughs> you might as well have bit it right off the cap. But oh my god, that it's all just terrible. It's bad. You know, this was on TV as well that just makes it worse first thing in the morning they're like yeah learn to cook like this yeah thank god most people are at work <laughs> King uncle roger want to kill myself if my life gone anxiety also gone life hack what the hell uncle roger just watch why this shit on british national tv hi exactly what is this show well said bro what the ph stand for porn hub because i think the people <laughs> on there cook better than this shit <laughs> seen fur made with <laughs> seared steak, rare, so uncooked in the middle. The broth would not have been hot enough at that point because of, like, by the looks, it wouldn't have been hot enough to finish cooking the meat. It looked like it was staying rare on top. Um, the garnish weren't too bad until she went for the parsley. That was just terrible. <laughs> that was completely horrible. It was literally a steak with a side of wet noodles. Yeah. With a little bit of garnish on top. What I don't understand, she didn't want to show us how she made the broth, that's apparently a secret. But then she started adding other sauces and stuff to it afterwards to make out like she had shown us. Ridiculous. And um, think about the old age retired people that are watching this on a Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> because the rest of us are at work. <laughs> now nah, I'd rather be watching Homes Under a Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Bargain hunt. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely, man. Oh, bargain hunt's banging, man. We should go on there one day. Yeah, Dickinson's a real deal, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Make that guala. So, if there are any uh, shows out there that would like to feature us on them shows, hit up the comment section below or hit us on our email address, which is somewhere on YouTube written down for business inquiries only. <laughs> and, yeah, we would like to be on some shows as a team. As a team? As a team. Okay. Or against each other. Who knows? Well, that's coming. Can't mention that. God, shut You're gonna let me. But maybe I've got a I've got some. You won't let it. No, you won't let it! I'm the one who talks! Okay, mouth shut! Ears open! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no.
Brenda, thank you for the recommendations, guys. Keep them coming, and we'll be sure to keep on adding them to the list. Um, thank you for waiting and being patient with this one. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with everything that we do. And until next time, peace. Peace.